Hi, thanks for joining me. I would like to have an informal discussion about the changing schools. And I believe I mentioned this before, but I'm not really sure since the seasons are changing. And sometimes it can be so subtle that we don't notice it. I just want to give you a heads up so that you will be in a time of preparation. I cannot remember exactly what the date is for the fall equinox, but about um, mid-month um, in August, I noticed uh, the season changing. And so what you want to do is be sensitive to the changing energies in such a way that when you're bombarded by certain intuitive or sensing intuitive feelings that you realize there's more to it than what's in your immediate uh, environment so to speak things that require your immediate attention those things we tend to focus on when we feel uneasy about something however i want you to realize that sometimes it is the changing of the season the planetary alignment have a lot to do with it. So this year has been filled with some phenomenal um, occurrences by the planets and comets and uh, different stars. So we've been looking skyward at certain phenomenal events that will not happen for 30 or 50 years, some of them 70 years from now. So we, many of us will not be around when these things occur again. So we really were kind of wrapped up in the occurrence of them, trying to visually see them, just to kind of mark stuff in our mind's eye. We're doing that because for several different reasons. It's marking time, it's stirring up memories, uh, storing up memories, but it is also reigniting and bringing back to mind some things that have happened in past lifetimes. So, what does it all mean? It's sort of like a deja vu type situation for your spiritual self. Your conscious mind may not grasp what's going on, but you can dwell within or choose to operate in a spiritual nature so that when things occur, it clicks and sets things in motion in your spirit man, in the spirit realm, so that you're benefiting from them. We go through a lot of events in this particular lifetime where we just make note of it and brush it off as some a rare occurrence or something that just happened. But we have it has a way of unlocking certain things. Certain things are revealed. They're revealed sometimes in a sequence, and one right after another, as they normally would happen. And then sometimes they kind of jump and take leaps and bounds. And then we tend to go back and fill up the gaps that happen. Either way it go, we're always moving forward in time and space and dimension wise. I said all that to say this, the seasons are changing. Um, and during this year, we have as an entire global nation, so to speak, or global people, we have faced some things together, separately but together. And in doing so, we are so focused on that and trying to ensure our well being so that we can continue on in this realm that we have ignored some of the things that tend to happen naturally. So nature is always trumpeting the the changes in season. And then I said, I noticed it about mid-month in the past month, which was August. 
that was because I have several different types of grapevines. And my grapevines, I have uh, four along one row. They started dropping leaves. And they're not diseased. They had already produced their fruit. They came out early. And they were sort of my precursors to seasonal changes. They started sprouting and breaking forth from their winter rest before the rest of the grapevines did. And so that alerted me that spring was here. It still was not here fully physically, but it was, the grapevine said it was here. And by the same token, they started dropping leaves in the middle of last month. Now, I'm in a climate where it's warm, really hot most of the year, very humid most of the year. And we have had extremely mild winters to the point where they didn't seem like um, they were winters at all. It just seemed like it was an autumn time. So I'm not too sure. It seems like we may be getting, we may be able to get a cold snap or two, which we do need those for ourselves and for the uh, vegetables or the foods that we eat. So the fall is coming, the leaves have been dropping, and then two days, about two or three days ago, I noticed some leaves off my neighbor's tree. Now the tree is green, it looks great, but I noticed there were some yellow leaves that flew over my yard. He's the only one with that particular type of tree, so I know which neighbor's yard it came from. But again, it's signaling the changing of the season. So what I want you to do with that information is understand that the seasons are changing, the energies, the vibrations that you are encountering are changing, and you want to prepare for the changing of the season. In doing so, look to um, some type of uh, ritualistic bath, cleansing, or cleansing, uh, not just a bath type cleansing, but an energetic type cleansing. A time that your mind is preparing and your bodies are preparing so that you can usher in the new season and the end of the year. And this is necessary and it's most helpful for you if you are moving with the seasons, especially the planetary seasons, in doing so, you're not always feeling so, um, such an unrest, such an agitation, so much anxiety, if you're able to move with the, the seasonal energies that are moving. And they tend to kind of move us along a little swiftly, but, that is only because we get caught up in these physical activities that we are often involved in. And so instead of reaching back and holding on and trying to hold on to the season that you're in, understand that it is time to release that season, that energy that is, comes with that season, and embrace the new season's um, energies, which is the letting go of the things that are no longer needed releasing and letting go of these energies that we have been gripped with, letting them go, releasing them so that we're able to take on the energies of the new season that is coming. So that's really what autumn is about. A lot of people say it's harvest time. Um, but it is really about our letting go and the releasing of the things that we no longer have need of that have fulfilled their purpose, and now we are releasing them to go back to divine uh, source so that they will, excuse me, in turn, be reborn, rebirthed into something new. A lot of times it doesn't seem like that, but it is what will happen. You have a tree that is filled with leaves. I mean, it's a full tree, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. The tree is providing us with oxygen. It is serving a purpose. It is using the energies from the planet here and far 
to do what it needs to do, to be healthy, to be full, to be vibrant. It is providing us with uh, oxygen. And if it's a fruit tree, it also provides us with food that, which will nourish these vessels. But when the fall comes, it is time to release and go. It has already done what it needed to do for that particular period of time. Then it begins to release the leaves and send them off on their own. Once those leaves go off on their own, the tree is not dead. It goes into the next season, which is sleep. So it takes almost, some of them, it seems like it takes almost the entire season to drop all of the leaves. But it is continual, continually releasing. And so understand that and mimic that. We don't release everything at once, but we are gradually releasing, releasing, releasing the energies that no longer are needed, the things that are no longer needed, the things that have served their purpose, we're releasing them back to spiritually divine source. And when you do that, that will tend to make the changes that you encounter a little more pleasant. Then we will go into the next season, which will be our season of rest. So that's what we're preparing for. We've been extremely, extremely, extremely busy, and we have been grappled with an extremely large amount of stress and anxiety. So please uh, do something that let go of those energies and things that are no longer needed. And so what I'll try to do is maybe put up uh, some type of meditation or some type of uh, ritual that I would do with my crystals, I may put that up that may be of some use to someone to just see. It's just simple, um, quiet activities that you do. Nothing so elaborate. It's just something really small that you can just gradually do, incorporate within your daily or weekly routine to help move you into this new season. So this is the autumn season. A lot of times we shorten that, uh, give it that name called fall. And that means because most of the leaves are falling off the tree. But understand as the leaves are falling, they're really releasing that which is no longer needed. And so we want to mimic that in this season. That is what we want to do. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. I hope that you found this information somewhat useful. And I will see you on our next video. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a great day.